I'm currently in America and what do Americans seem to love the most? Yes, that's right, fast food. So in order to respect and embrace American culture, I've decided to try out some of the most popular fast food places in America and rate them on a scale of one to 10. Our first contender was McDonald's and boy oh boy, I was so excited. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell, but that was sarcasm. The only thing McDonald's has ever been good at is getting my hopes up and destroying it each time I eat their food. I don't think there's ever been a time where I visited McDonald's and been pleasantly surprised. So I'm hoping American McDonald's is gonna be different. I decided to go for a spicy McCrispy and a Big Mac. So let's open it up and see what's inside the box. Every time you order food from McDonald's, it's always worth carrying out a visual inspection like I'm doing over here just to see if it is safe for human consumption. Okay, so I don't know about you, but I swear there's something missing here. Just by looking at it, I kind of want to give it a hug because it looks like it's been on antidepressants for the past five years of its life. Okay, okay, enough talking. Time for the taste test. Just for reference, this is meant to be the number one fast food place in all of America. And I genuinely can't put my finger on why that is. If you do enjoy McDonald's, please leave in the comments why, because I'm genuinely curious as to what goes through your mind. You know when people make food with love, it usually turns out really good because they put so much care, detail and attention into their work. This burger was the complete opposite. It felt like it was made with rage, resentment, hatred, any negative emotion that you can think of was fueling the person's creativity that made this burger. Overall, this Big Mac gets a 1.2 out. 10. Okay, I don't want to be like too judgmental or anything, but this burger definitely needs therapy because that is the most depressed looking burger I've ever seen in my life. Next up, we had spicy chicken and spicy chicken had a lot on its shoulders right now because not only did it have to redeem itself, but it also had to redeem McDonald's's rating. So let's put it in our mouth and see if it does justice to the McDonald's name. Okay, you know what? I can confidently say that that was the worst chicken sandwich I've ever put in my mouth ever in my life. The chicken itself was very rubbery, it was like chewing on shoe leather. It was very wet and soggy. The bread wasn't toasted, so it was quite soft. The name is called Mick Crispy. It wasn't crispy at all, it was awful. I'm gonna give it a 1 out of 10. Honestly, it was quite hard to not take this as a personal attack from the McDonald's employees, but I decided to give them the benefit of the doubt because they looked like they were having a bad day. <laughs> I've never had Chick-fil-A in my life and I was kind of excited to try this because I've always seen videos online about people trying this and it's always looked so nice. I decided to go for the standard spicy chicken sandwich order and it totaled to around $5.68. They put the sandwich in a foil bag which retains the heat and it increases the amount of moisture and tenderness but decreases the amount of general crispiness provided with the sandwich. Visually it looked, you know, nothing special, you know, just a chicken sandwich, nothing special, nothing cool, nothing fancy. Time to put in mouth and rate on scale 1 to 10. Bun is soft and moist and not really toasted that well. The chicken is seasoned very nicely and crunchy. Pickles are really nice, but there's no sauce. I thought there would be sauce in this, but there isn't. Overall, I'm giving it a 8 out of 10. It's really nice, actually. Congratulations to Chick-fil-A for absolutely smoking the shit out of McDonald's. <laughs> Okay, so next up we have Daddy Duncan. I got the mango and pineapple refresher with coconut milk and I also got a blueberry donut. And both of which excelled expectations completely. The coconut milk paired very well with the drink and it gave it a very creamy tropical taste. And it made me feel like I was in the beaches in the Bahamas with my feet exposed in the sun and I'm just relaxing. It gets an 8.8 .8 out of 10. And the blueberry donut, it was really nice and soft with like a cake-like crumble almost. That gets a nine out of 10, easy. <laughs> Okay, so IHOP was interesting. So they managed to basically combine both dreadful and amazing into the same meal so effortlessly. And while I was here, unfortunately, I was a victim of discrimination at this location. The first form of discrimination I encountered was that my friend, she got sprinkles on her pancake, which kind of made me sad that I didn't get the same treatment. But overall, the pancake was beautiful. It was fluffy, sweet, golden, and soaked up every little bit of syrup that I fed it. Everything else on the plate was very mediocre and below average. So for that reason, they get a respectable five out of 10. And the only thing that was carrying this location was their pancakes. 
So next on the list was Popeyes and this location, it was kind of in the ghetto. And the only reason I came inside this shop was because I was hearing gunshots outside. I ended up ordering a spicy chicken sandwich. A young boy on training, he was creating and assembling my order. At the beginning, I was thinking this could either go really well or really wrong. So let me explain the theory behind what I'm thinking here. So seeing as he's new, he's going to have to prove more to himself and his team, right? So he was more likely going to take more time and want to perfect it by giving it a bit more love than the other employees would. And he was also quite enthusiastic and eager to learn, which probably meant his team hasn't sucked the life and passion out of his career yet. And a team that usually nurtures their employees generally creates more of a creative and passionate worker. So I let him cook and waited patiently for literally 30 minutes of my life. And this is what was handed to me. What did I say? I haven't even eaten this and that boy has already outdone himself. Look at the pure craftsmanship that has gone into assembling this sandwich. What a beautiful sight. That boy is definitely gonna go places. Taste wise, the chicken was very crispy. It was perfectly consistently juicy in the middle. It was seasoned very well. The only thing that could improve it is the buns. It could have been toasted to make it slightly better. But overall, that was a spectacular burger and I'm gonna give it a 9.1 out of 10. The spotlight is now currently on Wendy's. Let's see what you got. So I decided to order a mini Baconator and a spicy chicken sandwich. Visually looked above average. So let's take a bite and see how it tastes. Okay, so the chicken sandwich. Chicken patty was actually seasoned pretty nicely. So the flavors were really nice, but it was overcooked. So like that kind of like ruined the whole thing to be honest. So I'd give it a 6.2 out of 10 because the flavors were there and the lettuce and the tomato added a nice bit of freshness to the whole burger as well. If the chicken wasn't overcooked and the buns were toasted, it would have been a solid like eight to nine out of 10. Now onto the Baconator. Now visually, it does look like it comes from a broken home, but here on this channel, regardless of any past that this burger might have had, we're still gonna give it the respect that it deserves. Let's open it up and see what the Baconator is working with. Bro, that's so much sauce and cheese. So I didn't expect to actually like this one. I thought it was gonna be disgusting. I'll be honest, just by looking at it, it was better than McDonald's and um, I'll give it a 7.1 out of 10. There was a lot of sauce. The burger to bun ratio was good as well. There was like the perfect amount of meat to bun and the bacon was extremely crispy. The cheese was creamy and complemented the rest of the burger. Next up, we have the self-proclaimed king of the burgers. Will they live up to their name? No, I don't even need to go inside for this one. Burger King, you get a zero out of 10. Service. Last but not least, we had Whataburger, and this was supposedly Texas's most popular fast food restaurant. And I was joined by my friend who was a true Texan individual and identifies very strongly with the brand as a part of her culture. So time to see if this decision is based on delusion or a facts, dog. Bitch. Oh, sorry, I'm just getting angles. I'm gonna pretend like I'm driving. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Passenger, princess. Oh, why are you so sad? Cheer up. We're at Whataburger. Hi, do you guys have the biscuit biscuits at this time? Biscuits at 11. At 11. Um, can I get a water burger? By itself or the meal? By itself, please. And then could I get a, a burger of your recommendation, please? Try the avocado bacon burger today? Yeah, let's go for it. $14 exactly. Perfect. Water burger is taking its time, mommy. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I was wondering why Whataburger was taking so long with the food and I quickly realized that they let their meat escape. I tried giving my friend the camera so you guys could see the inside operation of Whataburger, but she did an awful job at this. After waiting for about 25 minutes, we finally got our order and it was time to dig in. A chunky burger. So visually, the standard water burger was a chunky boy. Taste wise, it made me feel like I was at a family barbecue without the family or the barbecue. And overall, it was a very average burger. It didn't have any cheese, but it was all right. I'll give it a five out of 10. It's all right. Is it? It's okay. Next up, we had the avocado bacon burger. Oh. Visually, very attractive. And it looked like it was assembled by someone who doesn't hate their job. Taste wise, it was absolutely delicious. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give it a 9 out of 10. The freshness of the avocado, tomato and lettuce balanced out the fattiness of the synthetic American cheese in the patty. Congratulations to Popeyes for winning. Guys, what is your favourite fast food place? Leave it down in the comments. <laughs>